Hi, I'm Ryan. I run a group called Google Developer Group Cloud Pasadena, and we're going to build a drag and drop app in Angular to upload files to Cloud Firestore and storage. And this is exactly what we're going to end up with. For larger files, you can pause and resume. And when all the files are done uploading, we'll be able to see them in storage. And we're going to put all the metadata into Firestore database so you can use it however you like in your projects. Before we begin, I want to thank my subscriber James for the idea behind this project. And for anybody who wants to just take the code, it's in the description below. In order to do this project, we're going to do a few things. Uh, create a Firebase app, create an empty Angular app, get the two to talk to each other, and then put in the Angular drop zone code. First thing to do, let's go to Firebase and go to console. Add project. I'll call this drag and drop. And we don't need analytics and create project. Press continue. Now we're going to create a web app. This app name won't be referenced anywhere. So you can call it anything you like. I'll again call it drag and drop. We don't need hosting and click register app. This next screen is important. We want to copy the Firebase config variable and for now just drop it into a text editor. This is going to be what allows Firebase and Angular to talk to each other. We'll come back to it. Click continue to console and go to storage. Click get started and next. So we need to choose a location. I'll choose US West 2. You can come to this website and it'll show you all the locations and click done. Now we're going to go to rules and this is just a proof of concept app. It's not for production. So we're going to change the authorization rule. We're going to allow anyone to read and write. So allow read write if true and publish. Then we go to Firestore database, create database in test mode. And this just says allow read write if the current time is within the next month and enable. Now it's time to build the Angular app. I'm going to create a new app, ng new, drag and drop. Do you want to enforce type checking? No. Would you like routing? Yes. And CSS. Let's jump into that directory, cd drag and drop. Okay, let's open a new tab and I'm going to start the server. So ng serve double dash port 4204 double dash open. You can choose any port. Okay, so the basic app is here. Now I'll jump back to the first tab and we're going to create some components. So Angular generate component or Angular ng gc home, Angular generate component upload manager. The upload manager will be the collection of all files that get uploaded. Then we create Angular generate component upload task. And finally, Angular generate directive. And we're going to put it into its own folder called directives and it will be called drop zone. Next, I'm going to add Angular Fire, ng add at Angular slash Fire, and we're going to choose the drag and drop project that we just created. Okay, and we're going to add Angular Material. It's not necessary, but I just like to add it to all of my projects. Choose any theme and animations. It doesn't matter, but I'll choose yes. All right, let's look at our code. So the first thing I want to do is go into source app app component .html, and we're going to delete everything except for this very last line of code. And that will take this screen and make it blank. OK, next let's go to app routing module and add in our home component. And we're going to add in the routes. So essentially, everything is going to redirect back to our home component. Next, we're going to go to source environments environment.ts. And I'm going to grab the Firebase config variable that we got from Firebase and add it in. So get rid of the equal sign and just call it Firebase colon and remove the semicolon. Next, we'll go to app module ts. 
and we're going to import all of the Angular Fire modules as well as a reference to the environment file that we just created. And because I like using Material, I'm going to put in all of the Material things that I would ever need. And then we come down to Imports. I'll import all of those Angular modules. And right here, this is how we get Angular and Firebase to talk with each other. And now I'll import all of the material design elements. So now we're going to go to homecomponent.html, and we're going to paste in this code. We're going to have a single div with upload manager. At the moment, the code has just broken, and that's OK. I like it reading upload manager instead of app upload manager. So all we have to do is go over to the upload manager and change the selector to read a little more clean. And now we have it. Upload manager also shows up. And while we're there, I'm just going to go to the upload task and the upload task component, and I'll change the selector there as well. So to finish up home, we are going to add a little CSS. And this is just flex to make it show up in the center. That's everything for home. Now we're going to build the manager. Now in uploadmanager.html, we're going to have a div that's the drop zone, and it will be able to tell when we're hovering and dropping. And below that, we're going to be able to show all the files with the progress indicated. I'll add the CSS. It's just to set up the style for the drop zone and to change it when it hovers. And now for the TypeScript. There's only two variables that I want to track. I want to know if we're hovering, and I want the full list of files that have to be uploaded. And then we have only two functions, uh, toggle when we're hovering, and on drop, all we're going to do is push the current file into our array of files. Now time for the upload task. Let's start with the HTML. OK, so you can think of an upload task as just a single file that's being uploaded. And we can see that we're going to show the progress um, as a percent. We're going to show a pause, a cancel, and a resume button. And again, all of this gets added based on the upload manager's HTML. For every file, do an upload task. OK, in the upload task, we're going to import a lot. So the variables that we're going to track are the file itself. Task is an object to go to Angular Fire, so it really controls all the uploading for us and makes the code easy. We're going to track the percentage. Um, and then this piece, download URL, we're not using it in this project, but I wanted to add it in to show you how easy it is to get the URL to download the, the file that you've just uploaded. The constructor takes in two variables. It's to the storage and the database that we created earlier. And finally, on init is going to call one function for us. It calls start upload. Now, start upload has a lot going on, but I'll walk you through. First, we're just going to print out the file that it's working on. Then we're going to create a safe name, so strip out all special characters. Uh, grab the timestamp, and with the safe name and the timestamp, we're going to make a unique name to use to upload the file. The path will be in a bucket called Uploads. The rest of this is to have a snapshot so that we can track the percentage of the upload as it goes. When you go to the database, that's where we pushed all the metadata. You can do anything you like there. And the very last thing we're going to do is build the directive. So that's the drop zone itself. First, we're going to import a few libraries. We need to listen and have events emitted. Again, I'm going to remove app from the name. It's just going to be drop zone. And we can see that when we go to the manager. That's the reference right here, drop zone. And the very last bit of code is we're going to have an event listener for drop, drag over, and drag leave. So when we drop, we want to make sure that we emit false on hover. We're no longer hovering. When we're dragging over, we want to emit true on hovered. And when we leave the drag, we want to emit false as well. When a drop happens, we want to emit the files itself, and that's the entire project. If we come back over, let's try it out. So hover over and hover away. That works. Let me pause. And those are all done. I'll resume the last one. Drag and drop. Let's go to storage, uploads, time stamped with all of our files, file store, we have the files, and we have all of the metadata that we wanted. 
Uh, this project was really fun for me. It was actually really challenging. I hope it helps you. Thanks for watching.